very good evening friends and this is the third example of the C++ objects oriented model. In this video we are trying to create another class. So now you have understood that the classes are the blueprint of the ideas and the classes generally comprise of the variables and the functions and the classes have generally three segments possible which are private, protected and public. Private cannot be accessed from outside, public can be accessed from outside and the protected are used in the special cases of inheritance which will be discussed in the next videos now here in this class uh, in this class i'm just trying to take the example of compound interest since you all know that the compound interest is uh, uh, reckoned on the formula a equal to p1 plus r by 100 whole to the power and this is another way of calculating the compound interest so it has two variables principal rate and number of years n represents number of years p represents the principal and r represents the rate of the variables now i have declared one more variables called the double amt which will store the amount of the function so amount of the simple interest so now i just need to initialize these variables the prime variables are the ptr or the prn and then i have to design one functions to calculate those functions because it involves a par function and then i'll just go for showing the idea of the functions so here in this condition now you see that i have declared and i have kept the three functions all public and all the four variables private means they cannot be accessed from outside now i'm trying to defining them so the first function is get data is return type is void so the void name of the class compound i and then scope resolution operators double colon and the name of the function get data and then there i'll write here i'm just giving this function the power to display something on to the user and receive the information from the user so this functions get data will not just take any value just simply it will display the enter principle and then it will receive the principle from the user so the function is going to receive the things which cannot be made in line because it is now just calling different things calling the monitor displaying the things so even if i make it in line it will not work properly so that's why i'm just making it a normal function defining outside the class body so c out enter principle c in p so the p goes into like whatever user will enter that will be stored into p then user will enter the rate of interest that will be stored into r then in user will enter the number of years for which the calculation has to be made then the user will enter and that value will be stored into n so we have got the three values p r n and then we need another function just to calculate then c in n so this goes into and the variables in the c plus plus or the c they are always called as memory segment memory segment so void named memory segments like the n is of 4 byte double is of 8 byte because this is double and the amt is also of 8 byte now i'm defining the function calculate so the compound i void is the return type of the calculate compound is the name of the class to which it belongs and amount is p into power function because it is 1 plus r upon 100 whole to the power n so the power function generally have the two values base and index like a to the power n so i'll make 1 plus r by 100 as the base and then n as index so now i have to include the math dot power function because it has to have uh, power functions defined inside the math so i'll go there and include the math dot h header file hash include no no not importing hash include include <laughs> math.h so now just the time to display the results so the void compound scope resolution operator and show function 
so the amount because all three variables whatever user entered they will uh, they are the part of the class and the amt is also the part of this. so the function calculates and stores the value into the variable amt so now the result will displayed into the amount equal to amt I think caps lock is on. Yes, and now see out. Uh, that is compound interest. Compound interest is generally amount minus principal. so it should be amt minus p now everything looks nice and since we have to go into the main function these are all defined outside the main function main is where all these executions will begin so the in now i'll create the one object for the compound i you can write it as a compound i and then its object is ca and then with the help of cm calling the get data function to receive the data from the user and then i'll be calling calculate function which will calculate and initialize the memory cell amt and then i'll call the show function so now let me save the file with the extension dot cpp and then i'll compile all plus f9 is compilation control plus f9 is for running so here it goes and now you see i'm just running the program and it's executing control plus f9 so no error no warning nothing now just see the output enter the principal i entered the principal there 12000 rate of interest 5% and the number of years is 3 so it's working 5 it's working fine now i just uh, need to make the outcome look little prettier so i'll go and just make some changes so the show functions i think if we just here the bracket is also displaying so if i just remove the bracket then also i think we will not have any problem and um, before this function this is next endl for the slash and you can also use endl for the new line this is a new uh, thing now i use the clear screen functions here inside after creation of the objects and run the function again run the program again and then there you see its principal 10000 and then rate of interest is 10% per annum and the time is 2 now this is working very nice just thank you very much keep on watching and keep on practicing